Right now, we're going to get into decentralized staking for Matic specifically. So there's a couple things to go over. I also want to share with you a nice mini tutorial on how to import slash add tokens to your MetaMask. So we're going to dive right in. So again, we're going to be using the MetaMask wallet. So if we go to the Chrome extension tool here, we can see that I have my MetaMask. And for this tutorial going forward as well, we're going to be using my Trezor Model T. And if you want, you can also use a ledger. So you can easily connect a ledger or a Trezor and begin to use your cryptocurrencies at a safer level. Now, if we take a look at our wallet, you can see different assets. And what's important to note with Ethereum is that your address is going to be one address and you're going to have an ERC20 token. So we're gonna get into a couple things. And what I want to do first, and perhaps we will do it this way. As you can see here, I've got Ethereum, and underneath I have ERC20 based tokens. So you wanna have Ethereum in your wallet because when you sign transactions, it's gonna cost a little bit of ETH. So you should always have a little bit of Ethereum. If you're having transaction issues, it's most likely because of that. So before we get into importing, let me show you how to see your assets. The first thing you're gonna do is either copy this, see how mine ends in 0548. What you can do is go to account details. And I like this method because what I can do is go to my Coinbase account through my phone or even on crypto.com and I can scan my public address and send Ethereum tokens there. Okay, so we'll be doing that um, in just a bit as well. So this is very important for you to understand getting into the space. So you want to learn how to import and how to send tokens um, to your MetaMask, right? Okay, so what we're going to do is copy this address. This is our public address. And what we're going to do is go to our Ethereum scan. So this is going to be etherscan.io. This is where we can view our wallet and see which tokens we have in our wallet. For example, you'll have Cardano scan. That's where you can do that. And you can also do it for Binance and other tokens as well. What we're gonna do is paste our address. And as you can see right here, we've got 0.01 .01, and we've also got four different tokens. So we can see our NFTs and our other assets. So if you ever want to see what's in your wallet, that's how you're going to do it. And sometimes what's going to happen is that you will see the assets here, but you won't see it on your MetaMask. So that's what we're going to get into right now. I'm going to show you how to import so that you can see all of your assets. And it's very simple. So what you can do is go to import tokens here in search. So here you can go Matic, right? And then you could add a specific token. Now, the easiest way to do this, and if you're having any issues, is to go to CoinMarketCap. For example, we're going to be using Polygon Matic, showing you how to stake in the course. So we're gonna click on Matic, and under Contracts, what we can now do is click on Add to MetaMask. So if we click this, we can now add token, right? And you want to make sure you're on the Ethereum network. You could also add tokens for other networks as well. So we're going to add the token. And now if we go to our wallet, we can now see Matic network token. So now we've got an ERC20 address for our Matic. So we've got that set up where we can see it now. Okay, so on Cardano scan, we don't own any, so it won't show right now, but that's going to help you out a lot. I really feel like that will help out a lot of you um, for solving any potential issues. Okay, so that's how you're going to add tokens. So when you're getting into new projects, what you can also do is click here on more and you could add to your MetaMask the Polygon network metamask of course we're having issues because we have to select and change our network so if we go here to polygon network okay we already set one up but i'll show you how to do it again 
go to the drop down. Now you're going to go to the drop down, select polygon. And this action will edit tokens. So you can follow the steps and that's how you would do that. Okay, so another main issue is that you're on the wrong network. So stay on the Ethereum network and your address is one address. Okay, so when you're sending for these assets, make sure that it's an ERC20 based token with the Ethereum network. That's all we have for you right now. Later on, we're going to get into more activities. So we'll see you in the next one.